welcome to a special edition of Late Night with Max. Uh, anyway, I am Max Voltage. Good to see you all. I hope I didn't wake any of you up with the alarm, but uh, anyway, good to see you. So, yes, unless you have been uh, living in a hole, uh, I'm sure most of you know that Ironfish is launching Mainnet tomorrow uh, at noon Eastern time. So up till then, we are on testnet. And uh, as many of you probably have been doing, uh, you've been looking at all the different videos from all the other content creators. And so I've been learning along the way with the rest of you, and I'm gonna be summarizing some things that I have found along the way. I was trying some things last night, trying some things tonight, some things occurred today. So we'll go over all of those things. But before we get too much into it, um, obviously we couldn't be mining Ironfish unless you're mining solo, of course, but we couldn't be mining Ironfish without mining pools. Certainly wouldn't be as effective. And Hero Miners has definitely come in with a splash. So they have offered a $10,000 promotion giveaway um, for anyone who is mining Ironfish. Uh, there's a couple of uh, of drops that will, a couple of, of uh, snapshots. That was the word I was looking for. Uh, there's going to be a, seven different snapshots. There's going to be two during testnet, and then there's going to be five uh, during mainnet uh, up until May 20th. And up until May 20th, uh, they will be um, uh, allowing everybody to mine with no minor fee whatsoever. Why would they do that? Because they're trying to get adoption. They're trying to get people to come to their pool more than others. You know, once you kind of grow accustomed to a pool, most miners don't change. So it makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. Kudos to Hero Miners for uh, doing this for the miners as well as um, for really a good business decision in my mind. Um, and I should say that actually this stream is sponsored in, in pure transparentness. Um, uh, this is sponsored by uh, Hero Miners. Uh, so as we look here, so what will they be giving away? Again, 10,000 total. There'll be a thousand dollars going to five miners. So thousand dollars going to five miners. So five thousand of that ten thousand will go to five miners, and then twenty five hundred, five hundred each of those five miners. So and then uh, another hundred dollars, another twenty five hundred total, uh, will be going to twenty five miners. So uh, good luck everybody in the giveaway. And uh, I know you guys say good luck. I don't want a good luck. I want to win. <laughs> anyway, but. Uh, Anyway, so again, kudos to uh, Hero Miners. I've mined them in the past. Uh, they are a really, really good uh, mining pool. I've never had a problem with them at all. Uh, so, um, and actually I should mention one thing. So in my testing of, of um, not just this one, but other things I've mined at Hero Miners, uh, I'm in the Chicago area. I've made that clear, uh, Northern Illinois. And what I found is that, believe it or not, the Canadian, the Canada, the Canada uh, East pool is actually the lowest latency pool for where I am. It's not the U.S. East and it's not the U.S. West, um, even though I live in the U.S. So I'm, I'm guessing it's probably in the Toronto area instead of being like in the Northeast further away. So keep that in mind if you are in North Central United States that there's a good chance that Canada East for this pool will be the lowest latency pool and will provide you the best results. Um, so anyway, I actually haven't changed that yet on my Windows PC that I have mining, and I'll go over that in a minute, um, but I have changed it actually on my uh, uh, my Hive OS, so you'll be able to see the difference between the two uh, latency, you know, the latency between the two different pools. They're close, but Canada still does uh, win out. Um, so the next thing I wanted to go into was the nodes, um, you know, the wallets. So yeah, right now, as with any new project, you're going to have like a core wallet or a command line wallet. Um, and they do take a little bit to get set up. I thought about setting one up. I decided that I would just mine on somebody else's wallet somebody else who did a video today so uh anyway you can go through and look at all their mining pools and figure out where i might be mining to so anyway <clears throat> so what am i using so one of the things i did look at today was uh, i noticed rabid mining's 
uh, video where he says three times the amount of, of hash rate using SRB with Hive OS. And in my looking at it, it looks like it absolutely does that. And I'll go over that in a minute. But, um, but anyway, so I'm using SRB minor 2.2.4. Uh, that is the one I'm using. And uh, so first off, I started out with mining on the uh, my computer that I have in the basement. And uh, basically put all the overclocks. So these are the overclocks I'm using. Uh, GPU core clock lock at 1305. Uh, memory clock at 810. Core offset at 300. And I just put in a power limit 100 just to make sure it didn't cook itself or at any time. Uh, didn't figure it would, but just to make sure of that. Uh, and I do have it on US2, which is the Northeast pool for hero miners. Okay. So um, basically just went in there, made the changes, and then uh, ran it under administrative mode. Anytime you have these um, you know, setting of clocks within the miner, you always want to run under administrator mode. And came over here. And right now I am mining, and this is a 3060. Okay. Um, it's currently mining at 3.6 giga hash. That's pretty darn good. If you remember, a lot of people are doing 3070. Uh, and uh, when looking at Panda's video this morning, uh, he was at like two point something. So anyway, so right now I'm showing three. Anyway, again, it's I'm in remoting in. So that's taking up some processing power. So it does vary. Um, it does stabilize on the pool when I get out of the remote, but right now we're looking at anywhere between 3.5 to 3.8 is what we're looking at there. So then decided I would go into the OctoMiner and here's my flight sheet. So basically again, 2.2.4 using slightly different. I basically up the core clock to 1310 from 1305, uh, but all the other ones are the same created the wallet, um, which again is very easy. I'm not, this isn't a uh, Hive OS, you know, how to or anything, but uh, you know, you create your flight sheet, you, you create your wallet. Um, again, very, very simple to do. Um, there's no special things in the, um, uh, in the setup. This was the standard way it came up. It works the way it comes up when you're, when you're working on SRB minor. Uh, the only thing is, is to, um, put in the special configs, the disable G the disable CPU actually comes up, uh, as default. And then you're just putting in the rest of these, uh, as well. So cancel out of that. And then let's look at the results. And right now we're at 80.5, 80 and a half giga hash. That's a lot of giga hash. I know it's going to be all relative to everybody else, but this is a 12 GPU rig. It's got six 3070 TIs, 13060, and five 3060 TIs. Um, I actually like the lower power algorithms for these 3060 TIs because these have Hynix memory in them. Yeah, Hynix memory does not like memory, um, you know, things that put memory under high stress. They don't do as well. So at least with these lower power ones, they do very, very well. You always see you got an outlier here, here and there with some of these cards. These just aren't as high quality cards. Honestly, not up to EVGA standards when they went with this Hynix memory. But, you know, people went through, um, uh, you know, difficult times when they were just trying to get GPUs out and they were willing to make sacrifices. And that was unfortunately a sacrifice that they made. Um, but anyway, still about 6.1 on most of the cards. Uh, on this one, you can see this 3060 Ti is at four, almost at four and a half. So again, that's a difference. I don't think necessarily in high versus windows. I think that's in the fact that I'm remoted in and uh, I have other things running in the background on that computer. So, um, so I'm sure that that is affecting that hash rate just a bit. But again, we're looking at under 800 Watts. And again, this is, um, you know, an octo miner where this power is real that is measured at the wall so 800 watts so nice and low power for this mining rig um so let's take a look at the latency so i was talking about that a little bit earlier so if we look at the latency 
this one is, you know, somewhere around, you know, low thirties to 40 is the range. So if I go back to my other PC, uh, this one's at 42, 37, 38, 37, 37, 48, 47. So you can see it's, it's about anywhere from five to 10 milliseconds higher going to the east, uh, the U.S. east versus going to Canada east. So again, something I've noticed in the past and I double checked it again. And for me, Canada east is the lower latency. It is the better um, uh, location for me to mine to um, in order to get that lower latency. So that was really all I had. And again, thank you so much to Hero Miners for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate it. I've worked with them in the past. They're really good people over there. And uh, that's pretty much all I had. It's pretty simple to, to run. Um, I'm really curious to see what happens tomorrow. I mean, so oh, one other thing I do want to mention. <clears throat> so if you're mining to test net, it will automatically move to main net. So there's nothing you have to do at all in order to go from uh, test net to main net. So you just be able to roll right into it. <clears throat> so, and while I don't know for sure, I anticipate that they will be coming out with a desktop wallet tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping anyway, so I can get on my own wallet instead of somebody else's. Uh, but I figured for 800 watts, I'm going into the night, which is my cheap mining time. My power is like you know, really, really cheap. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, I figured I'd get it running and see how it is. So this is the general signing out.